In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dearly beloved in Christ, our Father, Emmanuel, Aria, and our Lord, share with you the title of God's love, that's a short reflection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of Monday, 11th December 2023. The readings are taken from Isaiah 35, 1 to 10, Psalm 84, 19 to 14, and Luke 5, 17 to 26. The theme of the reflection is how sorrow and lament can end. How sorrow and lament can end. The first it says, let the wilderness and the dry lands exult. Let the wasteland rejoice and bloom. Let it bring forth flowers like the jonquil. The jonquil. Let it rejoice and sing for joy. The glory of Lebanon is bestowed on it. The splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen all weary hands, steady all trembling knees, and say to all faint hearts, Courage, do not be afraid. Look, your God is coming, vengeance is coming. The retribution of God he is coming to save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf unsealed, then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongues of the dumb sing for joy. For water gushes in the desert, streams in the waste land. The, scor the, scor the, scorched, the scorched earth becomes a lake. The parched land springs of water. The lairs where the jackals used to live become thickets of reeds and papyrus. And through it, will run a highway undefiled, which shall be called the sacred way. The unclean may not travel by it, nor fools stray along it. No lion will be there, nor any fierce beast roam about it, but the redeemed will walk there. For those the Lord has ransomed shall return. They will come to Zion, shouting for joy, everlasting joy, on their faces, joy and gladness will go with them, and sorrow and lament be ended. <laughs> joy and gladness will go with them, and sorrow and lament be ended. Beloved, this implies that if the life, if the life with nothing to refresh it, the life without anything to refresh it should rejoice, if it should rejoice, Refreshment shall come, and it will flower, that is, it will produce virtues. In other words, the power of God will work in that life to produce wonders. Therefore, we are invited to renounce fear and live in courage and goodness, with the hope that the Lord will come to punish the evil and reward the good to save his people, and to save his people. He will heal us of our physical and spiritual infirmities, and this will increase our joy and our virtues. As a result, we will live in a holy place full of virtues and with our vices. It will be a sacred place or uh, a way of life which will not entertain sinners, uh, wicked people, but only uh, right the righteous and the sorrow and lament of those who have repented will be replaced with joy and gladness. In short, if we praise the Lord both with our lips and, and with our virtuous lives, our sadness will be turned into happiness, and this will continue to grow until it is fully accomplished at the end of times. The gospel uh, is a fulfillment of this prophecy. It says, Jesus was teaching one day, and among uh, the audience there were Pharisees and doctors of the law who had come from every village, and Gal every village in Galilee, from Judea and from Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was behind his works of healing. Then some People appeared carrying on a bed a paralyzed man whom they were trying to bring in and lay down in front of him. But as the crowd made it impossible to find a way of getting him in, they went up on the flat roof and lowered him 
and he stretched out down through the tiles into the middle of the gathering in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith, he said, My friend, your sins are forgiven you. The scribes and the Pharisees began to think this over. Who is this man talking blasphemy? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But Jesus, aware of their thoughts, made them this reply. He made them this reply. What are these thoughts you have in your house? Which of these is easier to say your sins are forgiven you or to say get up and walk? But to prove to you that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the man, the paralyzed man, I order you, get up and pick your stretcher and go home. And immediately before their very eyes, he got up, picked up what he had been lying on and went home praising God. They were all astounded and praised God and were filled with awe, saying, We have seen strange things today. Beloved, before the coming of John the Baptist and Jesus, the lives of the people of God were like the wilderness and dry lands that Isaiah prophesied. Uh, there was nothing to refresh them. And when John the Baptist and Jesus came, the people who were longing for fresh water experienced it. His teaching brought freshness into their lives. His teaching brought power into their lives. And those who believed and acted in faith experienced wonders. For such people, their sorrow and lament turned into joy and gladness, and they lived in, virt in, vir in virtuous ways. Beloved, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to glorify the Lord always with your lives, with your lips, and with your life. In the name of Jesus, every sorrow in your life will turn into joy and gladness. Amen. Can I share God's love by subscribing to this YouTube channel? And share on discussing this message with others. The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the rest of the video. May Almighty God bless and protect you with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.